I'm Jonathan Lack, a PhD candidate in the University of Iowa's Department of Cinematic Arts. This summer, as part of the Oberman Center's Humanities for the Public Good Internship, I had the pleasure of working with Iowa Valley Resource Conservation and Development, a local nonprofit operating out of the Amana colonies that focuses on community food systems, planning, and placemaking. This specific internship was called Storytelling and the Food System, and we wanted to tell a compelling, informative story about the work this organization does. As a result, I created a three-part podcast-style audio documentary called Growing for Good, the story of Grow Johnson County. In it, I interviewed staff members, growers, volunteers, historians, a food bank director, and a member of the County Board of Supervisors to learn about one of Iowa Valley's, and indeed our entire community's, most exciting initiatives, the Grow Johnson County Project. Housed here on the historic poor farm, Grow Johnson County cultivates a wide variety of fresh fruits and vegetables across five acres of land, entirely for the purpose of donating that food to local food banks, pantries, and other hunger relief agencies. Johnson County has a significant hunger problem, with over 19,000 residents, more than one in 10 people, experiencing food insecurity. And for those people, getting fresh, first-hand produce straight from the farm is an unfortunately rare experience. That's why the work Grow Johnson County does is so important, and why the space on which they grow resonates so powerfully. The Poor Farm was founded in the 1800s as a then progressive reform to the Poor House or Debtor's Prison model, where both the poor and those deemed insane by the state could live, grow their own food, and hopefully learn skills that might lead to a better life if they ever left the farm. This model was obviously imperfect, and particularly traumatic for those kept in spaces like the Asylum Building. But by dedicating this site to modern hunger relief and community education efforts, Johnson County is making a meaningful effort to preserve, understand, and build upon our history. And that, of course, is where Grow Johnson County comes in, and why it was such a privilege to research this project, interview those involved, and share this story with the world. It wasn't easy, as the COVID-19 pandemic meant working remotely and interviewing subjects over Zoom. I didn't get to connect with the land and the community in the hands-on fashion I was hoping for earlier this year. But I hope the finished series, which consists of three 20-minute episodes, will serve as an inspiration for others to get out and experience all of this when the crisis has passed. To visit the farm, attend the various community education functions Grow Johnson County hosts, and maybe even volunteer, contributing to a very real need and learning lifelong skills right here in our own backyard. It's a series about a complicated history and an inspiring present, but I also hope it helps us think about the future and what we can all do to make it better. To learn more and hear the full series when it's released, please visit www.growjohnsoncounty.org. I'm Jonathan Lack, and thank you so much for listening.